because I have moved some of my shop equipment into my basement because it's winter and my garage is not attached and not heated so it's really cold I moved my planer my new router table and my CNC router in I put up sheets I went to good Goodwill and bought three sheets for two dollars each I used grommets to put them up so they're easy to take down so here's the inside of there there's a my workbench I'm gonna be working on so when I'm routing I'll put my router there when I'm uh, planing I'll put my planer there that sheet is up because the planer throws a lot of uh, dust out the back and that's the way I'm throwing it so try to stop it from going into my workbench that I have down here and so when I'm working on my CNC router I'll probably I'll take this sheet down but there is my uh, planer that I'll just move over here so switch those back and forth that'll kind of the, the CNC router will pretty much always stay there yeah, I made the bench for it it's a nice fit now that I have a router table I'm gonna try to use it to cut the juice track for my cutting boards and this way I can make cutting boards longer than 13 inches because my CNC router only does 12 by 13 I mean, I could do longer than 13 on there. I just have to do it in pieces parts. Um, so I don't know which one's going to come out better. So right now I've got some um, 12 and a half by 15 boards. I've set this up to have my V-bit in there. About, um, what was that, 0 0.15, 0 0.14 up for my depth. And then I've set stops at each end. The stop on the right end is for the start of the track and the stop on the left end is for the end of the track. Now this is the track that I've been able to do so far. So I've done, so I'm going to do the long sides and then I'll have to adjust the stops to go short ways and hopefully I can get them to meet you know in the corners but we will see really the hardest part of doing the routing um, besides keeping even pressure is setting up the stops it's a good use of your combination square so I measured from this edge to here to where I needed my end to be and then I first put up um, this um, stop this this marker and then I attach this up to it so this is the end of where I needed to be and then I just you know remove that one and now that's my stop for my short end and they came out okay so here they are some of them are a little bit better like if we look in the corners here they're not perfect but that's pretty darn close. You know, like that corner is really good. So I got a little burn in some of them. But I was trying to think of the, of the lining up or, you know, lining up and rounding um, like that corner and the bottom one. Not as good, but this board, the bottom board there is actually like a quarter inch, half an inch shorter, narrower. So, and I didn't change my stop. So I knew it was going to push that out a little bit. So. But that's using my uh, router table to do these juice trucks.